Hey everyone, this is Robin with another skit tip. This is a pretty advanced skit tip, so hold on to your hats here. Um, we're gonna show how to change scenes. Now, you can change backgrounds like that, but did you know that we can simulate what it seems like to change between the beach and maybe another background like here? So the secret here is to not use backgrounds at all. I know that's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> you go into your import tool and you drag, let's say, let's say we want to go between the uh, beach. So we start with the beach and we can save out this beach as beach um, uh, prop because we're going to make the beach a prop. So we go to prop here and props don't move like characters do. They're kind of just static images is exactly what we want. So we save it as, as a prop and we do it one more with the with the background that we want to change. So we'll go from the beach to actually I think there's another beach, maybe daytime, nighttime. So let's try to find that. We'll go into search here. We'll type beach. And ah, here's the sunset. That's good enough for me. Uh, and we'll drag that into the import tool here. And all we have to do is save it out again. And we'll call this beach night prop and we go to prop so now I've saved out um, two images normally they would go right into the background like that but I don't want them in the background I want them separate so I can do you know normal uh, skit stuff with it so I'm gonna make them really I'm gonna make one of them cover the background and I'm gonna make the other over here and so uh, if I record, it's going to record the position of this one background. And then at a at maybe right about now, I want the backgrounds to switch positions. So I take this background, move it small. It doesn't have to be that small. And I take this background and move it up. And now when I hit record for the rest of the skit, it recorded that this background in, in instantly went down over here and this background was instantly up over the entire scene. So if we re rewind, let's see what that looks like. It starts on this scene, and then after a few seconds, it now is daytime again. So without moving it or panning it, whatever, I just switch between two backgrounds. So now that that's in place, what I like to do is maybe lock these guys so I don't uh, touch them. And now I can grab my characters and we can do the same thing. The, the key though is that the characters have to be, in this case, um, below uh, the, the prop. Because the prop is going to try to think, oh wait, the prop should be behind and below. Because the way that skit works, it tries to figure out if you're below a character, then you're in front of her. Like this guy is in front of the girl. But if I move the guy up be, like above her feet, now it looks like she, he's behind her. Hello, what's going on? Now I'm in front of you. Now I'm behind you. So the, the same thing is happening with the props here. The props, uh, if you move the girl above the bottom line of that background, boop, she's right behind it. So what we have to do here is just make sure if we're, we're recording here, this is maybe a nighttime where this guy's, you know, browsing. Oh, that's nice. It's nighttime. I'm just walking around. And then this girl can walk in the daytime and she can be, as long as her feet are below, then she'll be in front. So if we play it here, uh, the guy is taking a walk on the beach at nighttime, and then the scene changes, or it seems like it changes anyway, and the girl is walking during the daytime. Uh, maybe they just miss each other. You know, one was nighttime, they, you know, ditched each other on the date, I don't know what happened. But, uh, but that's a good way of uh, showing different scenes in Skit. And again, we locked these backgrounds to get them uh, out of our way, but really the whole magic was saving them as props. Um, and then moving them off, hitting the record button, picking a time, uh, and moving them uh, into position, and then hitting the record button again.